Oh, hello there. Just a little bit of preamble before we start the actual video. So I'm going to have a look at the uh, toe angle of my car. I'm going to use uh, something called a track ace. And because I'm a curious person, I thought I would see whether I could measure it myself. Uh, so the toe is to do with how the front wheels are aligning, whether they're pointing in, which is a uh, positive toe, or out, which is negative toe. So on the Land Rover, it should be pointing in a uh, positive toe, and I think it is 10 minutes. Hi there. If you're enjoying the content on my channel, please like and subscribe and join me on my further repair adventures. Thank you. Well, greetings there, fellow Land Rover repairers and of various other things. I hope you're doing well. This is my uh, latest um, experiment to do on my car. After replacing uh, the lower front suspension, I'm just going to have a little see whether I can actually work out what the tracking is up to. Uh, it doesn't feel quite right, and I assume that the toe is out. Um, I will look at the camera another date, but this is my sort of initial experiment. I've seen various other YouTube channels doing this with uh, string and bits and pieces, but I'm not sure I've got the patience or the time or the space or the inclination to do it that way. So I've kind of invested in one of these sort of track ace things. It's got a laser and, you know, it's supposedly, according to their thing, it's a two minute thing. So this is how it comes in this nice little box. Uh, we've got a few bits in here. So we've got a nice book of the instructions, which in this case I will be reading because I'm gonna to need to learn how to use it. We've got these two plastic standy things. Um, we've got a mirror on the end of a pole with a spirit level on it. So that's obviously going to be used for something. And we've also got in this little box, so the laser at the top and then the sort of calibration marks on here. So it all looks pretty simple. We're going to have a try and see whether we can look at our um, alignment on a Land Rover Discovery 3 and whether it's as simple as it claims to be in their little video. So step one is get your steering wheel in the straight ahead position. So first things first, we're supposed to position this using this away from the wheel so that we've got like the calibration distance so when you get that there make sure obviously the laser's in front of the tire on a car like this you've got big fat tires so we're gonna keep that there make sure that the laser's try and get it sort of perpendicularly all right and then we got on to the other side of the vehicle so we started on the right hand we're on the left hand side now these are the clippy bits that clip on so these are the legs <laughs> and then you're gonna I'm going to get this um, onto the rim so you want it on the rim of the wheel a lot of touching the, so that it's on the actual wheel nothing other than on the wheel so i'm going to use the rim of the wheel to get it going and then what we have to do is align this so that the uh this is uh level so we're going to get the bubble into the middle by moving things up and down so once you're happy with that, and you've got that in alignment, you're supposed to make it so that the mirror points slightly down so that when you turn the laser on on the other side, which we're going to do in a minute, it doesn't bounce into your face and blind you. All right, okay, I've got it on here. There's a bit of backwards and forwards going on here. So I might just pull this up a little bit. Um, you kind of got to keep checking that you kind of got this level and then these things, it's a bit wiggly. Um, so I don't think this is two minutes unless you've done it a million times, but I mean, it's obviously not too hard. I think the biggest thing about this is just calibrating it so that it's correct. This is the calibration bit. And I think if you get this wrong, I think if you get the calibration wrong, it's probably where it's gonna create a headache. So I'm just gonna see if I can get this little dot thing lined up a little bit better. So it's a little bit higher up. And then we'll attempt to move to the front right wheel, which is where you can take a reading from. So, a bit longer. Okay, so a bunch of backwards and forwards, and I think I'm happy that I've got that pointing on here. Uh, so we shall see what happens now. So if I've got the dot there, I think we need to make this a line so that the dot goes to zero. So let me check the instructions. So it says, fine, adjust the angle of the laser unit until the laser dot is centered on the zero line. Carefully maintaining the unit's set distance from the right wheel. 
and okay it says once zero of the laser unit must not be moved again so let's see if we can get it on to zero so i have to rotate this round gently try not to move it around and get the the blob kind of as centered as possible so actually that's a really tiny amount that it needs to swivel kind of that way um so i think that's kind of what we're supposed to be um i mean this is going to be my first attempt so i'll see what i think i have kind of resorted to using a tape measure because i wasn't sure about how far this is so i'm going to probably do this a couple of times make sure that i can get a consistent result but it's worth just trying so next step is to move back to the actual front right wheel which is the one we're going to see whether this now calibrated will give us the toe and we can compare it to what's written in the Haynes manual. All right, so we come back to this side, we've got to do the same again, just get this. So I'm gonna get it on this side and get the, the level set with the mirror. So see if we can get this on here. Put the tape measure in the way. Get it out of the way now. Just my reference for when I was setting it up. All right, let's see if we can get this level. So broadly speaking, that is level. And then we've got to adjust the mirror so that we can get a spot on our scale. What I'm seeing is that the dot is just past the mirror, so I'm going to just try and move the mirror this way. <laughs> Don't say that in the thing, do they? Probably works a bit better on cars with smaller, smaller rims. You haven't got to compete against a massive tire. Right. So we're using, we are using the wheel as our kind of flat surface. Probably you should use the outside rim. But like I said, this is my first go. I'm just trying to get it so I can actually get some kind of reading. It doesn't have to be best in the world. I just want to make sure I can actually get the damn thing to do something. So that's basically claiming to be level. So I'll now make sure the bubble's really centered. So that's giving us a reading, isn't it? So we have got one degree and something like 15 minutes. So according to Land Rover, we should be down here. We should be at 10 minutes and then we've got plus or minus um, 12 minutes. So Minus 12 minutes would take us that direction, and plus would take us that direction. So we're actually well off. So I'm going to re-measure this again and reset it all up again and see whether I can get like the same reading again um, until and um, do it a few times until I get a consistent reading. And then I'll come back to you because what I think is important with this is probably you've got to just do it a few times. Keep doing it, keep doing it, and then once you've done it a few times, you're going to make sure that you've actually got a reading that you can rely on. And then once you've got the reading, uh, my current intrigue is whether or not you can actually use this to adjust the toe back to roughly where it should be. because I'm going to improve on the method. Now, I find with the black things, uh, it was a bit annoying, so I've marked the, the stand thing, I've marked the ends of the stands, so that I know where to put them, because this point at the beginning, you want to align this um, from the rim, perpendicular, it says. So you've got to kind of get this. It's actually quite difficult on the Land Rover because of the height of the tires. So this time I'm going to actually get this kind of perpendicular, use it so that the spirit level aligns my gauge and so it's perpendicular and lift it up to make sure that's touching it's kind of perpendicular right, so that should be a little bit more accurate against the wheel now and I'm actually going to use the, the rim I'm actually 
actually going to use the rim. So I'm actually going to use the rim, this prop, this bit here, um, as long as it's not got any lumps out of it, so that we're going to use that as the, the flat edge. Although I think this is probably fine to use, but for now I'm going to use that. So now we've set the distance of this from the tire or the wheel. We've got um, we can go over to the other side and start on that side. I think we're on just the repeat uh, until complete, but we're going to go again. We're going to get our bubble to align. So this is just me doing it yet again, just to see where we get, and see whether we can get a similar reading to what we got last time. So get your bump bubble aligned. Make sure your mirror is pointing down so that the laser is not going to reflect back into your face. So that's this side. So it's quicker once you've done it a few times because you get used to it. I'm now using the actual outer rim of the of the wheel, so I don't know whether that's more accurate, but I'm going to do that and see what it means. I'm going to go back to the other side, I'm going to get the laser to align in the mirror. So I'm just back again, see whether I can get the laser to go onto the center of the mirror. So it's looking good, we've got the laser in the center. Definitely easier to keep doing it more and more times. Okay, so we've done the same again. We've got our, our thing aligned and level. It's kind of funny on the um, YouTube because it's like how to line, how to check your wheel alignment in two minutes. It's like, <laughs> but you can see that the guy that's doing it has done it about a million times and he's selling you the thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, that's interesting. We're a bit more out this time, so I'm wondering whether this is more accurate because what I've done this time is I've been careful to set the distance of this to the actual more accurately towards the length of the pole with the mirror on it. So I've done that on purpose and that we've just got this in a better position uh, in terms of its alignment. Okay, once you've taken the reading, then you go back to the other side and you realign and make sure that you're still on zero. So that means that I've gone back to this side and I've reset it up with my uh, spirit level and um, put the uh, position, the um, whatever you call it, the mirror, I guess on the wheel so that we can check back from once we've made the reading. Um, I'm actually going to go back and read it again after checking this is here. I'm just going to check this. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm finding myself able to get a convincing result and uh, that's really helping me out. So I'm now getting to the point where I understand where the wheel is actually at in terms of its toe rather than just kind of guessing that it's within a certain margin. Currently we're reading one degree and 10 minutes. So I'm going to just go measure it again. I'm going to start from zero, re-measure it again. Right, okay, how's this for full on nerd? I have actually reversed it and done it the other way. Just to have a look at what we got. So it should be the opposite this way because uh, I've done it from the opposite way. So I've gone from the, the left side. I've got everything aligned and actually I'm quite impressed because I have managed to achieve uh, the same result kind of this way, which is one degree in 10 minutes um, toe out. So it's it should be toe out because we're back to front. So overall, it's looking like we are one degree in 10 minutes. Um, so toe in, remember this is back to front. Um, just to say as a nerd, I thought I see whether it kind of could be calibrated either way. Um, I just, um, I think I might have had a misconception about this kit, whether it would actually allow you to measure the toe per wheel. And it looks more like it measures the toe, the overall toe, which is very clever and I appreciate that. Um, but I think if I was being a real nerd, I'd like to know what my toe was um, exactly on either wheel and how much to adjust them to get them to give the correct toe. I might do a little bit of research on that, but that's where I've got to at the moment. So I'm quite impressed by that. Um, the only thing I would say is don't do it on a bright sunny day because it makes the laser a real pain to read. But other than that, all good. I think one of the really good things about this is if you go back, you can actually like double, double check. You go back to the other side and I've reset the um, laser up on the other side to make sure this says zero um, when I'm on this side. So I can pretty much say that my reading is good and accurate because if you go back to the other side and you get zero, if you don't get zero when you go back to the other side, it means that this thing would have moved, uh, this gauge potentially. So you know that the gauge hasn't moved and you're pretty much there. When you go back to the other side and you can set uh, the gauge just using the mirror 
realign it and get it back to zero. So I'm actually really impressed by that, that I can get that consistent reading. There you go, I've come back again and it's still saying one degree and 10 minutes. So I'm quite impressed by this, that it can consistently give you a result. I think you just need to take your time, repeat it a number of times, and then make sure that you've got a measurement you can replicate. Once you've got that, then you've got a really good baseline of what your toe is. And you can go from there. There you go, using a tracker to work out what your toe is on your vehicle.